Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So I hope you've had a nice weekend. That feels like such a mouthful sometimes to say, but I do hope you've had a nice one. It's been very nice enjoying these really vivid moves moving up in the Terra Classic community. And this is really important for us because in crypto, there's one thing that's certain is when you produce actual real world results and you solve these kind of real world dilemmas, you're going to see a reaction and the community themselves are really starting to get around to this idea of a unified approach. And I'm going to be doing a video on TCC, which is the Terra Classic Coalition, which is something that I actually brought together and have been working with loads of different people to get this to a point where it's a volunteer team. And I'm going to be doing a whole video on this, but it's a volunteer team. It's not going to be ever asking for any money. So it's not subject to the same kind of when a team's being paid for three months, right? Yes, of course, we can simply say to ourselves, well, we believe this person should be on the team or that person because you've been paid and you're working for the chain for the next three months. This is a totally different scenario. And the idea was to completely just remove the bureaucracy, remove the dilemmas, remove the drama and all the bullshit and all the Twitter spaces and just simply work on LUNC and work on the development side of things, put merge requests in, and get things done. You've seen this happen with the old point endpoints. You've seen this happen with the DCM. You're seeing it happen with the burn tax. You're seeing it happen with so many different things. And like I said, this is these real world results that you're going to hang on to. So do keep an eye out for that video that will be coming out shortly. So the fear and greed index is still at greedy. This is really good for us. It's really important that we remain in this positive area moving into the bull run. So just quickly looking at crypto bubbles, we've got FTT up on the day. We have got BTT up on the day, EGLD also up and bonk as well, guys. I'm sorry, I pronounced it boink last time. I got a little bit excited. I do like the word boink, but this one is called bonk and it's down at the moment. And this is like this sort of meme thesis thing that what goes up must come down sort of thing. So I think it's really important for everybody to pay attention to what is actually going on with our, our price chart at the moment. And what we've actually been seeing is this really, really overextended push out. And I mean, this was very overextended up to the point of two, let's just call it 28,000 points per coin. And this is a really important place for us because we are really starting to show that we can perform and we can unite and we can get things done, that the community are gonna see reactions from, the chain's gonna react and things gonna be a lot better moving forward for everyone creating a very equal playing field. But like I said, this is a really important time for everybody to pay attention to what's going on because what we're actually seeing here is a bullish flag playing out and it's it seems to be attempting to break out. Now this could possibly break out a little bit and then cool down a little bit widening that sort of bullish flag that's playing out. And like I said, this is really important because with all of the sentiment that's around, not a lot of things are moving at the moment. And there's going to be a sudden realization as this bull run sinks in that a lot of people that got on SHIB throughout the last bull run, you know, they made a serious amount of money on a supply, which is 400 trillion upwards. I think it's 589 trillion total supply. I, our supply is tiny. We've got a lot of potential. We've got good technology and we've got great minds working behind this. So what I'm really thinking here is, is this is going to be an attempt at a breakout. Where could we possibly see this breakout going? And what I'm thinking is this area. And yes, I know this seems very, very bold and really pushing up to this next area, but I think we need to, and I think it's a psychological barrier as to where we're at at the moment, because a lot of the, and if we just think about it, a lot of the the real die hard holders, the real people who've got masses of these coins are all locked up. And a lot of people are coming out of stake and it's going to be very interesting. So what's actually happening is a lot of coins are moving. There's There's opportunities, right? And this creates liquidity loops and liquidity loops is what leads to volume and volume leads to price reflection. And that's what we realistically like. So like I was saying, I want to see a really, really strong breakout up to this area and then just channel in sideways. A lovely bull flag would be nice again, something bullish and just tracking sideways again, because I know a lot of people are getting a little bit skittish with what's going on here, but this is just 
for me, it's simply drawing back and it's it's having a correction and it gives an opportunity for more people to get involved. And as this sort of rolls out, we need to think to ourselves about user retention. User retention is so important because what we don't want is people buying the coin and then selling the coin because there's not really a lot for them to do. As we move forward and we roll out different parts of this United Vision, we get the pay per job system. If you've got a project, right, and you're lacking devs, you're lacking credibility, the pay per job could be a key for you to get a developer, someone mm. that you can trust. Because for me, the pay per job, it should start out as this governance based system, but it should have a review system attached to it where if someone's done a job, they can get reviewed by the community. And I think this is really going to help people sort of understand with a very unbiased approach as to who's really the good developers, who's the ones you want to pay more money for, who's getting your bang for your buck. I think Luna Classic's got a very healthy future ahead of it as long as the community can try and sort of maintain this screwed on head sort of situation. And with this TCC drop, I haven't really covered it whatsoever, but it, it, it's out there. And I've, I've seen a few sort of reactions as to people like, oh, why wasn't this person chosen? It's like, why wasn't this person chosen? Oh, why why didn't I know about this? And my simple answer to a lot of these people is everybody knew. There was a United Vision. You can pick up anything you like on this chain and you can simply work. Okay. And that's what we did. And that's what these people that are part of TCC now did. And that's the reason why we've all decided to just go, do you know what? Let's just band together as a coalition. Let's remove the team ideology. There's no leaders. We're not trying to control the chain. In fact, what we're trying to do is bring an equal playing field, right? So people like Six Samurai can develop and they can do all of these amazing things they keep saying they're going to do, yet they haven't developed one line of code. And I kind of get it, right? Everybody wants to be paid for things. And I guess that's what they're waiting for. And if that's what it boils down to, they get paid development happens everybody's happy but you've got to prove yourself in these situations and the pay per job for me is a way for people to really prove themselves in an unbiased manner maybe someone's got a foul mouth on twitter right but maybe they're a good developer at the same time and maybe getting that sort of foot in the door and people recognizing that they are a good developer might just cool things down and i i think everybody just needs to take a step back and realize the sacrifices that are being made by a lot of us to be here day in, day out. There was something really funny I noticed. Um, someone had basically found a website where you can check someone's YouTube revenue. And I thought this was really interesting. And someone had said, uh, HCC is only in it for the money. And this person has replied back with a lovely screenshot. And uh, I've grabbed the website here. Um, I think it is called, it's called Social Blade. And you can see that my estimated yearly earnings for this year is between £64 and £1,000. Now, I don't know about any of you folks, right? But would you give up all of the time that I give up, that other people like me give up for 64 to £1,000 a year? Of course you wouldn't. Otherwise you'd be doing this now. And you know, there's some of us that like, like I've said, we've made great sacrifices to be here. And I think this is really what's going to push us ahead because the people that are working on it now want to work on it. And you this very, very strong development situation going on here. So what I'm hoping is we're going to see a very strong breakout, a nice sideways tracking movement and hopefully continuing to move up. And this is the best time if we look and it's all over everywhere at the moment. The halving event is 135 days away, folks. We are in the cusp of the beginning of this whole halving event and really seeing what potential our crypto's got. And all we can do leading up to that is try and drive the sentiment, try and develop things, try and bring tools for you to utilize and use and things for you to do and games for you to play. I think there's a lot coming. I've heard whispers of a game that's supposed to be doing a beta launch in December. I know that you've got Garada Universe as well. So shout out to them. They've got a lot of these small sort of side scrolling above view arcade style play to earn games, which is really cool. They're out there. You've just got to go and look. Folks, stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Drop a like on the way out. Hit the notifications bell. Just hit me up. Let me know what's been going on. Let me know what you want covering on the channel with side LUNC and XRP. And we will see what we can do. And I need coffee recommendations because I was away for a little bit. I'm getting low on beans. Please let me know.
Folks, stay safe, stay humble, stay aware. And as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Mm-hmm.